Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Star Wars, The Clone Wars. This is episode two. No, <laughs> this is season two, episode 11, Lightsaber Lost. So I'm ready to jump straight into this. I hope everyone is doing well. And I'm ready to see why this lightsaber has been lost and if they will find it. Easy isn't always simple. I love that. And it, that's a very simple quote, too. Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano descend into the treacherous gangster havens in an effort to find a corrupt and vile arms dealer who is buying weapons on the black market and selling them to the Republic. And poor Ahsoka has to be in this place. I like those alien looking guys. Ooh, these guys. Is that that same guy? Because that's the bird thingy. Oh, her lightsaber. Is it her lightsaber? <gasps> so someone jacked it. That guy. Can you not use the force to get it back? Where were you? I had a bad feeling about him. And? <laughs> it was nothing. False alarm. You're not going to say what happened? Come on, you have to tell him. I mean, I would be scared. I'd be scared, too. I don't want to disappoint Anakin or get him upset. He tells me over and over, your lightsaber is your life. Don't mm. lose it. That is Terra Sanube. He happens to be an expert on the Coruscant crime world. I mm. think he's sleeping. Yes. <laughs> I was just resting my eyes. Hello, Master Sanube. He has an interesting haircut. A thief stole my lightsaber, and I only got a quick look at him. I could tell he definitely came from one of the aquatic planets. So you're saying there was something fishy <laughs> about him? <laughs> <laughs> it was good. That was a it's a good <laughs> grandfather joke. The gun market to sell the lightsaber oh. within the radius. Just, just I mean, how much would a lightsaber go for? That is... Cu I'm actually curious about that. That's him! Oh. Interesting indeed. I haven't been on assignments in years. <gasps> oh. And if you don't slow down, you're not going to find what you're looking for. He's gonna come with... It would be nice to have company. Splendid! <laughs> I love this already. <laughs> Whoa, that guy is so interesting. You want to buy a lightsaber? How much are you willing to pay? You'll give it to me. What my little friend is saying <laughs> is how much? 20,000. Do you have the item with you? No, but I can get it. Nah. Who are these guys? Ah, they're Jedi. <laughs> and if we are? We were just doing our old friend Vanamu a favor. That's my lightsaber he stole. Oh, uh, well, uh... He's not that far away. He's at the Spider Arms Hostel. It's like everyone's just coughing. Uh, he could be in any one of these rooms. You need to be more quiet, young one. Not quiet with your mouth, quiet with your mind. You're so anxious to find this pickpocket that your worry is equal to his. Hmm. You mean if I relax, I can sense Banamu's anxiety? Wow. Yes. If you relax, you would realize he's in this room. Wow. He is really good then. Uh, what is his... He has a tail. What? Like, what is he? Banamu, I assume. Who are you? Uh, what do you want? Uh, Ding! Like so good. Slimy thief. <laughs> Anakin. Anakin Jr. What did you do with it? No, no. Ah, don't recall. You little. Ahsoka! <laughs> it's not smart to steal from a Jedi. Uh, you're looking a little too young to be a Jedi. Uh, yeah, 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 you are a Jedi. Okay. His name is Mu. Yeah, it's a she... <laughs> Ahsoka has taken after Anakin. You worry that if people die at the hands of your lightsaber, that you will be as guilty for their death. Oh. A valid concern. He can, one. like, read her and completely. You 
puzzle out. What? What is it? I believe we've reached oh. our destination. But someone came there first. Let me guess. Knack movers. He's dead. Man, I just... The fact that, that Ahsoka is so young. Oh, oh man. The men who killed Knack. And then she's like, yeah, he's dead. Like, she's seen so much. I came home and found him here like this. Why were you hiding? I was afraid. Hmm. And yet I sense something else is troubling her. Hmm. I'll search the other rooms. Can you sense a little more? Like, I don't know. Oh! Oh! Dang! That was... That punch was weak, though. How did this work? My lightsaber! You're a Jedi? Oh, no. Don't do this. What? Oh, uh, okay, Ahsoka. I love all these different character designs. Like, I don't know what this woman is, but she's so cool. And then the other, Iona, looks so cool. I found the intruder and she has my lightsaber. Wow. God, you know, she could literally kill herself. You know, if you're holding it the wrong way and you don't know what's the right side up, that's it. You have nothing to worry about. Oh. Right. Of course. Your friend Knack wasn't a very good fighter, was he? Or maybe he was poisoned. What? He'd be oh, stronger no. than the average man, though, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's not that serious. Like, even the the assailant shouldn't be doing all this. Man. It's funny because this is something Anakin would do. Whoa, cannonball. Like, she is to totally Anakin. Oh, man. Oh, she just keeps doing it to each one. <gasps> oh. Oh, and of course, it's Palpatine. <laughs> oh! What is he saying about the Jedi? You weren't afraid because you were in danger. You were afraid we would find your friend. Arrest her! Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I just wonder why they're trying to get this lightsaber so so badly. I see you've learned patience, young one. Where'd you get that speeder? I asked one of the police droids to lend me some transportation. <laughs> and he, oh, man. He's really awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay. Oh. Oh, that seems like something that would be bad. That the consequences for that are probably serious. Whoa. Oh god, you don't even know you're about to get killed. Wow, she's really strong. Oh my goodness, like what? Why, how is she so athletic? Whoa. Oh my God. I mean, you're clearly serious. Like, this is how serious she is about this. No, you're not. Yeah, this is when you use patience. Breathe. I'll trade myself for them. No deal. These two stay with me. And you, you stay out of 
out of my way. Oh. Oh, wait, the cane was a lightsaber. <laughs> oh, damn. That is the coolest so thing. I can always clearly see the way ahead. Mm. Good point. Wow, this was a great side episode. I need one last favor from you. Name it. Pass on what you have learned. Mm. Oh. Hello, old friend. Greetings, Master Sunube. Sunube. A lesson you have for us today? Hmm? A lesson in patience. Mm -hmm. Gather round, younglings. Listen to the Padawan you shall. This weapon is your life, but it is also your responsibility. Don't let it out of your sight. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. <laughs> I really, I, I love this series so much. What a great episode and great um, lesson there. Patience, patience, patience truly is a virtue. God, we all want to do things quickly, fast. Uh, it's, it's easier. It's easier. It's much more uh, natural. I feel like unless you've been taught as a young child to be patient and to breathe and take your your time like most of us are pretty much like impulsive and want to do go the, the fast way so i don't know it's very interesting but i think with with age like you would you would expect like someone like yoda and sunube who would probably be much older they have all the time in the world and they have all they have is time really and then they can they understand time more it, it, and so it's just so it's such a contrast to to like the the assailant how she was so quick super fast super athletic like go jumping trains climbing walls all of these crazy things but she still got caught by the older slower guy because he was he was able to see the end basically he, he said he could see things clearly I think Ahsoka truly needed to see that and she really needed a lesson in patience because she really looks up to Anakin and Anakin, he, I don't know, he does, he, I don't think he understands what patience is. He's definitely a like go-getter, which I feel like really does help. It's helped him in many ways. It's helped her in many ways, but a little bit of patience does not hurt. And I think that that that's what's so awesome about the the different teachers in Star Wars. There's all these different Jedi, and uh, everyone has kind of their own worldviews of things, which is how the real world is. Like you'll meet a bunch of people, and you, you're like, I really like them, but I don't I don't believe everything they believe in. But I actually, but I like them as a human. I like them as like their. I love their soul and like where we get each other but they they might know a little bit more than i i know and i want to like learn from them or vice versa and that's kind of in the star wars universe we've got obi-wan kenobi we've got anakin mace windu yoda um you've just got all of these people now we just met i is senebu Sen, something like that mr s um you you get to hear everyone's just different perspective and and it's cool it's so cool i love i love that i really i, do, I don't know it excites me I, I love spending time with older people with elders because i just there's there just there's a wisdom there not not all elders because let's be real not everyone grows up so you could be old and have years on you and still act like a child i never grew up but like i remember when we were going to church a long time ago, I had um, a friend, like my, he was a friend of our family. He was like in his seventies, his name is Abraham. And this man was the coolest guy, this African-American man with the long gray beard, long hair, where he would wear a turban and big wide pants and just 
like a cloak and he would always be that was his get up and he would come to church and we live in an extremely i mean and, and it's no offense it's just the reality of it we live in a, a white area in oregon is majority of white people and especially where we were was very much that way and then at the church seventh adventist church very much that so it's just so funny seeing him there and like no one knew, no one knew how to like understand what was happening there and it, that was the funniest thing to see for me and um and we some i don't remember how we all we befriended him and his his wife um but they just became like the, like our adoptive grandma and grandpa and we would have them over every sabbath and they'd come so after church on saturday they'd come and we'd, we'd eat we'd either eat potluck at the church or they'd eat um, at our home and he the the wisdom that this man had was it was amazing I, he passed away a few years ago um which was ex it's just a sad loss because he's one of he's just a well of knowledge and all i knew is when i was it was like 20 i don't remember how old i was when i met him for the first time but it was early early 20s all i wanted to do was just listen to him and just listen and soak it all in and and i just it was so funny how the other people at church you know they you know people want to be nice which is great but everyone's just like Oh, nice to see you. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, but they didn't know how to act around him. <laughs> and, that, and he liked that. He liked playing coy and kind of like, like he'd be like, huh? What did you say? And, and, and like play up being older. But he was very sharp. And I, I don't know. It was really cool to see that. Cause I will def if I get, if I'm blessed to be an older person, I'd love to play like that. Like, wait, what did you say? <laughs> Cause people, they they discount you you know it is a stupid thing to do but for some reason that's what a lot of people do they discount you on your age they can discount you on your 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 race your culture um your belief systems too people just kind of like they, they missed out that's all i can say a lot of people missed out because he was just this awesome guy he reminds me of of senu sen seb Oh God, Sanubu, very wise, very patient, very in the way he would talk. It was just slow, but you knew every word he was going to say was, was fire. <laughs> like it was everything he said was like, had a wisdom to it. And it was like, you know, you just, ah, man, that's man, it's messed up. Life is hard because <laughs> people die. But anyways. I love to be around people who have wisdom and I, I and people who have had time on this planet because that's how you get to learn and you understand how life is as, as best as you can. Those are the teachers that we need. So it's just cool. I wish I I I, I wish I had like video I mean he actually does have videos on, on YouTube, but I forget what his channel's called. But yeah, he's Cool guy, very beautiful soul, and rest of peace to Abraham. But that's it. I don't know. That made me think of him. Thank, thank you guys for watching and listening. Um, I will see you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.